Now here's a plant we all enjoy the product from, a product that we drink almost every day, especially in North America. And no, this is not a cocaine plant. It doesn't produce Coca-Cola. What we end up doing with this plant is we grow it into a big bush that produces fruit called cherries. And inside the cherry is a seed that we roast. And we end up with coffee. Now today I'm reviewing Doi Chang Wild Civet Coffee. It comes in these small tins of only 50 grams because this is the most expensive coffee in the world. This actually um, cost about $50 for a 50 gram tin. So this coffee ends up costing about $500 per pound. Now, Doi Chang is a Thai coffee. It comes from Northern Thailand and it's the the prime product of Doi Chang coffee is their Thai, wild Thai civet coffee. Civet coffee is the most rare, unique and highly coveted coffee available in the world. Now, civet coffee is made from coffee cherries that have been passed through the digestive system of a civet. What is a civet, you may ask? Well, a civet is a cat-sized animal, manimal, that is found in Southeast Asia and Southern China. So, Doi Chang wild civet beans um, are collected from the forest under the coffee bushes, and it's very, very rare, so this is not something that you find every day. But people do go out and collect these droppings. And then it receives a light to medium roast. And it maintains the unique flavors of the coffee cherries. And um, I highly recommend it. These cherries uh, have interacted with the civet's digestive system. And of course the civets only feast upon the ripest and sweetest cherries when the fruit is at its peak. So this ensures that only the best beans have been ingested. Now you may have seen this coffee on a movie called, uh, but not this exact coffee, but in the bucket list. And here's a cup of wild civet coffee. And it's very, very high quality. It's well, received one of the highest reviews by Kenneth Davids, a man in America who does the coffee review. And these are 100% Arabica beans. And it's 100% wild animals. In uh, Indonesia, this coffee is known as Kopi Luwak, which is why you may have seen this on the Bucket List movie. And the unique story of this uh, village is that this man, Pico, his name is, is the elder of the village who formed a cooperative. So this cooperative is fair trade, and the growers actually own 50% of the Canadian company where the coffee is roasted. So it's highly recommended. I'm going to have a sip of this now. As you can see, it's quite light. I brew this with a Hario, my favorite Hario pour over, V60. And that does the flavor justice. Also, never, never add cream or sugar because this coffee is meant to be enjoyed black. It's not bitter, it's very mild, and it's got some unique flavor tones which uh, can only be described as complex in my opinion. Thank you for watching and let me have a sip. Mm, that is the best coffee in the world.